All right, got it home. Figured I would do a quick video um, on what condition it's in now. Um, I've got the side panel for the battery cover, but it has been sitting for quite a while, at least. Now that I see the info on the dash, maybe around the windshield, maybe 13 years. So at least 12 years. Um, one tire would not fill up with air. They are really, really bad shape. Um, those are the last times. Had window stickers on from Illinois, from different areas where you can go, I guess. But the 1990 ZR1. So picked it up. Just unloaded it like 15 minutes ago. But she's pretty dirty. It's been sitting in a covered area. And this is just debris that blew in from years of just sitting in one spot. So went to pull it off, stepped on the brake, and brake fluid squirted out from underneath the driver's door. I noticed the brake lines looked a little rusty and I was thinking I'm going to have to change those anyway. But just the amount of dirt from sitting in the interior. Not horrible, but there is some, you know, some mold starting to grow in areas. You can see it. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a nice deep cleaning, pull the seats out, clean everything. Surprisingly, it has a CD player and a, looks like a cassette player, which is kind of cool. And it does have both of the tops. But I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. does say 8 of 16 on the registration but um, he did say his dad was good for keeping things registered for a while um, hard to say maybe it was running in 16 I'm going to see if I can get GM to pull the, any history on it for me anyway This is the start of my project. Figured I'd get a before video. See how grimy she is. And how it turns out when I'm done. And I'm sure I'm gonna have a little elbow grease into this one. Anyway, this will be the first video, hopefully of a series, that I'm gonna start on it. I mean, why not restoring a 1990 ZR1 is kind of cool. Anyway, hope you enjoy this short video, but there will be more to follow. Thanks for watching. So I started cleaning it up, and I forgot to point out. Apparently, they got cats, cat prints all over the place. Um, I did some vacuuming, just kind of general cleanup, and then uh, I'm going to blow it off with the air compressor. But just from sitting, you know, just a lot of just rusty parts, just everywhere so a lot of that stuff over time I guess I'll have to pull it up or pull it off and clean it up uh, but just dirt everywhere I started vacuuming this out I try and clean all that out before I put the hose to it I mean it's just it's been sitting a while so it's pretty nasty um, I mean you got cobwebs I mean that's how <laughs> I don't know, it's just dirty, unfortunately. Um, it does have a fuel leak on the back. And then when we were pulling it off the trailer, I had my wife step on the brakes before she pulled it off to see if we had brakes and brake fluid squirted out from underneath the door, so. But uh, pulled the wheel off the other side and there's a lot of rust on the rotors, everything. So I'm gonna have to go through a lot of the 
safety stuff and brakes and just make sure we're good before I even take it out on the road at all. Um, so I'm really hoping that once I clean the gas tank out, put some fresh gas in it, and hopefully it starts up and just purrs so I don't have to worry about any engine repairs. But it does only have 14,000 miles on it, so hopefully nothing has happened just from sitting. But just general, you know, just mold from sitting. and So it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of cleaning. Look how clean I got that just from vacuuming it. And I'll blast that out. But figured I'd go over it one more time. Just in case I missed anything. But, uh, and here we go. It's already continuing. I don't even bring a trailer back yet. And I'm already out here vacuuming it. Anyway, we'll see you later.